What's going on YouTube viewers? Sleepless Dog back with you. Today I have a super cheap knife, a Kershaw 1303 Blackwash, the manifold model from their starter series. And it works just fine. It's a speed safe spring assisted opening. As you just saw, the lockup is about 50-60%, which is a little, little aggressive for a frame lock that I've barely used. I, I like to see about 30-40% lockup on a fairly new frame lock. So that aside, what do I think about this knife? Why did I buy it? I bought it a couple years ago at a big box sporting goods store because I was Christmas shopping and I wanted something for myself, and, or I didn't want something for myself. I decided to get something for myself. And I was like, yeah, it's Kershaw. It's one of their new value line. Uh, they're super low price entry level knives. And they've got it on super sale for 10 bucks. And it's the frame lock model. Every, all the other ones are liner locks. Don't buy it. Even on a super sale. It's 4CR14 blade steel. It's going to have crappy edge retention. I've barely used it. And I'm not going to use it much because I'm not going to get edge retention because 4CR14 is a really low carbon, super mediocre blade steel. Even if I wanted to throw it in the tackle box and forget about it or throw it in my glove box, it's stonewashed black oxide coating. And there's rust just already on it that I've already scrubbed off. A little bit of rust here. I simulated the tackle box environment by leaving this in my bathroom for a few weeks on my counter. So it got steamed while, you know, I took showers and shaved and all that fun stuff. So uh, there's also a significant amount of rust on the clip, as you can hopefully see here. So despite it being 4CR14, which is a pretty low carbon steel that should not be terribly prone to rusting considering the you know, carbon content to chromium content ratio in steel alloy, it, it rusts. So it's not something I would throw in a tackle box or a car glove box and forget about, especially if you live in a humid area. Um, even at 10 bucks. Kershaw, really, if you're listening, if one of your reps runs into this video, get these things off the market. You're going to damage your brand because the, the normal price on these is like 15 to 20 bucks. And you can get something like a brawler for like 22, 23 bucks shipped on Amazon if you have Prime. The cryos are, you know, 30-ish dollars. The um, the Emerson frame lock Kershaw folders are again in that 25 to 30 dollar range. So if you're talking regular price on these. They're 15 to 20 bucks. Spend an extra five to ten dollars and get a better 8CR13 MOV blade Kershaw. To Kershaw, it's not worth you having these on the market at five to ten dollars less than your very good knives like Ker like your Kershaw Emerson's, your Kershaw Henders, uh, your Kershaw RJ Martin stuff. Get these off the market before you damage your brand. Because somebody's gonna buy this because it looks it does look nice. And it's Kershaw branded knife, and you know, some somebody who's new to knives, who doesn't know anything, doesn't bother to get on YouTube and watch this video, doesn't bother to get on blade forums or, you know, whatever the other main knife forums are, even ask a question on a gun forum, you know, THR, ARFCOM, M4C, .net, whatever, whoever, they don't do the research. On the internet, and they're gonna buy this because it's a Kershaw and it looks nice. They're gonna get crappy edge retention of it out of it. Their buddy is gonna pull out a Spider Co. Bird lock back or a Spider Co. value line like a Tenacious, and it's gonna be a way better knife. And if they don't have a buddy who's got, you know, like one of the Kershaw Emersons or you know, like a Thermite or a Cryo or even a Brawler, they're never gonna know that Kershaw, they're not gonna. They're going to go, oh, well, I heard Kershaw's good, but mine, my first one was crap, and I'm not going to give him a second chance. I'm going to go to a different brand. I think you're risking, I think the, the risk of damage to the brand is not worth the gain of having a knife at a 5 to $10 lower price point. It's just not worth it. Kershaw, please get these off the market, because you can make so much better knives, even at 5 to $10 more. And your USA made stuff is incredible at, you know, 40 to $60 price points. <sighs> yeah. So if you're thinking about a manifold, don't buy it. 
get one of the better Kershaws than HCR 13 blade, preferably the frame lock, or you know, get a Spyderco bird, you're better off. <laughs> With either of those, I hate to say it, that's what it is. I'm not even going to compare this to other knives. It's not worth the comparison. So I hope this has saved you some money, even if it is a super sale. And if you're looking for a, you know, $10 knife to throw in your glove box or your tackle box, get one of these for, you know, 13, 14, 15 bucks shipped off of Amazon. That's a Ganzo. This one's the G745, but any of the Ganzos will work. They're 440C blades that are stonewashed. You're not going to be real warranty support, but at the price, you don't need it. Um, yeah. So don't buy this. Buy a better Kershaw for five or ten bucks more. Buy a Spyderco Bird for you know ten bucks more. Buy a Ganzo for the same price. Hope this has helped you out. Uh, any comments, please leave them below. If you or questions, leave those below. If you liked it, please give me a like. And if you will, tell me what you what I do that you like. And if you don't like this video, give me a dislike. Or don't give me a dislike, but give me a comment and let me know what I'm doing wrong that I could improve. So again, thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all have a great evening.